Hello! So, welcome back to our lesson. So, this time, pag-uusapan naman natin ay ang electrical installation and maintenance. So, for this first lesson, we will be talking about the different types of forms. Okay? So, we have these objectives. So, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to use the appropriate form in requesting for electrical tools, supplies, and materials specific for a job. Okay, so we have these different types of forms. So, ano bang purpose ng forms? So, correctness of the entry of different forms used in electrical work is, is necessary in order to acquire right, complete, and accurate number of materials and tools needed in a specific electrical job. So, kapag tayo ay trabaho, gumagamit tayo ng mga tools and equipment para ma-perform natin ng ating mga trabaho. So, hindi naman pwede na lagi na lang tayo kuha at basta-basta na lang natin siya ibinabalik. Kailangan nagagawa tayo ng inventory para matrack natin kung anin ba ang nawawala o lahat ba ng hiniram nating gamit ay naibabalik natin ng tama. So, gumagamit tayo ng iba't ibang uri ng form. Kahit sa pagbili ng isang tool or equipment, meron pa rin tayong ginagamit na forms. Okay? So, first, we have the purchase requisition form. So, ano nga ba itong purchase requisition form? So, it is a document generated by a user department or storeroom personnel to notify the purchasing department items it needs to, to order, their quantity, and the time frame. So, it may also contain the authorization to proceed with the purchase. This is also called the purchase request or requisition. From the word itself, requisition. You need to request Diba? Kailangan mo mag-request para makabili ka ng mga tools and equipment na kakailanganin mo doon sa trabahong gagawin mo. So, ito ang example ng isang requisition form. So, nakalagay dyan ang pangalan, anong proyekto ang gagawin, saan mo siya gagamitin, ano ang classification, at ano ang purpose. So, dito i-enumerate mo, isa-isahin mo ang bilang kung anong klaseng tool or equipment ang bibili mo, magkano siya, at magkano ang total cost. So, nakapirma ka dito, ikaw bilang requisitioner, ang teacher mo, ang head, as well as the principal. Para matrack natin yung record kung magkano ang bibilihin mo at saan mo siya gagamitin. Okay? So, yan ang purchase requisition form. Next, we have the inventory. Sa business, nagkakaroon din tayo ng inventory. Okay? So, meron tayong form para dito. So, it is, it uses or it indicates the raw materials, work in process goods, and completely finished goods that are considered to be the portion of a business's assets that are ready or will be ready for sale. So, an inventory represents one of the most important assets that most businesses possess. Diba? So, because the turnover of the inventory represents one of the primary sources of revenue generation, and subsequent earnings for the company's shareholders and owners. So, bakit nga ba tayo nag inventory Kasi meron tayong mga ah, kagamitan na kung saan yun ang ibinebenta natin para makapag-generate tayo ng revenue or kita. So, yung ini-inventory natin ay considered as ating asset pagmamayari ng business. So, paggam sa paggamit ng inventory form, matatrack natin ilan ang nabenta, ilan ang hindi pa nabebenta, di ba? Ilan ang raw materials, sabi nga dito, at ilan na yung completely finished goods, di ba? Na naibenta na natin. So this is an example of a inventory of materials form. Okay? So ganun din siya, basic uh, basic information ng mag inventory the name, section, school, the purpose, and you need to enumerate the tools and equipment na kailanganin mo. As well as, kailangan pumirma lahat ng taong kinakailangan. Okay? So, these forms, kailangan lagi siyang well-documented. Hindi siya dapat nawawala o mawawala. Kailangan nasa isa siyang book or notebook or anumang uh, anumang lagayan para inyong maitago ang mga forms na ito. Okay, next one. We have the job order or work order form. So, it is a written instruction to perform a work according to specified requirements within specified time frame and cost estimates. 
Ayan, ang example ng isang work order form or job order form. So, naka-enumerate dyan kung ano ang trabahong dapat gawin ng isang tao. Ba? From the word itself, job order. Ano ba yung specific skill or work or job na kailangan mong gawin sa trabaho mo? Okay? So, dyan siya nakalagay. Okay, so this is an example of a job order form. And next one, we have the borrower's form. So, it is a form used to request for tools and equipment needed for a particular job. Diba? From the word itself, borrower's form. So, ikaw bilang manghihiram ng specific na tool or equipment, kailangan mo mag-fill out ng isang form na kagaya nito. Okay, so it indicates the department that the borrower is connected, the date, the job that is to be done, and who is the person to approve the request when it was uh, returned, and if it was in good condition. Diba sa eskwelahan, lagi natin itong na-encounter sa tuwing may hiramin tayong gamit sa isang department or sa isang office. So, ito ang example ng isang borrower's form. So, marami kayong pipil out diyan. Pero merong mga sample ng borrower's form na kung saan basic information lang naman ang hinihingi sa inyo, kagaya ng pangalan, uh, section, or department kung saan ka belong, uh, ano yung hihiramin mo, ilan siya, kailan mo siya hihiramin, kailan mo siya ibabalik. Okay? Kapag na-filloutan mo na yon, ibibigay mo doon sa taong magpapahiram, then kukunin mo na yung gamit na kailangan mo. At kapag dumating na yung araw na kung saan ibabalik mo na siya, nasagutan ulit ng form, sasagutan mo ulit yung form kung saan kailan mo siya ibinalik, anong araw, anong oras, at in good condition ba siya. Diba? So, i-check ito nung nagpahiram kung tama ba lahat ng hiniram mo at naibalik ng tama at maganda ba ang kanyang kondisyon. Tsaka siya, pipirmahan at saka matatapos yung uh, yung connection or yung interaction nyo doon sa nagpahiram. So, that is an example of a borrower's form. Okay? So, those are the forms na ating na-encounter. So, ano-ano ulit yun? The requisition form, the inventory, the job order form, and the borrower's form. Okay, so let's now have a short quiz before we end our lesson. So, the direction is right through if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. Okay, number one. To notify a worker about the task to be performed according to specified requirements, a purchase requisition should be used. It is false. Why? Because you need to notify a worker about the task to be performed by him or her. So, hindi mo naman kailangan gumamit ng form na kung saan bibili ka. Diba? Ang kailangan mong gamitin ay ang job order or work order form. Okay? So, number two, when will you request for tools and equipment to be used for a particular job, a borrower's form is needed. It is true. Very good. Okay, next, to notify the purchasing department of items needed and their quantity, a job order form is being used. It is false. Why false? Because you need to notify the purchasing department na kailangan mong bumili ng ganitong bagay at ganitong harami. So, ano ang kailangan mong gamitin? Job order ba? Hindi. Kailangan mo ng purchase acquisition form. Okay? Next, the raw materials, work and process goods, and completely finished goods should be written in an inventory form. Is it true or false? It is true. Very good. And the last one, correctness of the entries in different forms used in electrical work is necessary to acquire an accurate number of materials and tools needed for a specific electrical job. Is it true or false na kailangan daw nating siguruhin tama ang nilalagay nating mga information doon sa gagamitin nating mga forms? Is it true or false? Of course, it is true. Okay, so that's it for our lesson for today. So I hope you learn something that you will apply someday in the future uh, when you decided to become an electrician or 
kung gusto nyo mapunta sa field ng electricity or electronics. Okay? So, before we end our lesson, I will leave you this quotation from Confucius na sinasabi niya, it does not matter how you slowly go, go as long as you do not stop. So, go lang ng go. And that's it for our lesson. Goodbye. See you next video.